verse number 36, Acts chapter 15. Some days after, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they do. What is that? Hey, let's just go check up on them. And Barnabas determined to take with him John, whose surname was Mark. But Paul thought not good to take him with them. Why? Who departed from them from Pamphylia and went not with them to the work. You know, it's required in, in stewards that a man be found faithful. So it'd be like saying, hey, you know, I think we should use, you know, so-and-so to fill the pulpit. Well, they've not been faithful, right? Isn't that what he's saying? It's like, he left us. When we went to Pamphylia, he left us. Well, I don't want to use him. I want to use someone dependable. Well, it, it caused a division. And, and, and let me say this. Many people have pointed to this to justify their hatred or, or arguing or belittling of a brother in Christ. Well, Paul and Barnabas... Well, let's look how they handled it. So verse 39, And the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from the other. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed to Cyprus. And Paul chose Silas and departed, being recommended by the brethren of the grace of God. And he went through Syria and Sicilia, confirming the churches. So here's what happened. They just couldn't come to an agreement, so they split ways and both served God. You know, and there are times, listen, there are times when there are disagreements between brethren that cannot be resolved, but that doesn't mean anyone is less a brother in Christ. It just means you go one way, I go one way, and I pray you God's speed for you. It doesn't mean we're enemies. It do, and by the way, it happens even in, with churches. Someone leaves a church and goes join a church down the road. It doesn't mean they're our enemy. If you can't sit there with a good attitude, find somewhere you can sit with a good attitude. Okay? But they're not your enemy. So there are things that you can tolerate. There are times where you cannot tolerate. You still leave and just go your way, serve God, and let them serve God. But we can't do that, can we? We have to think that we're so important that when we leave, God left with us, and we just pray that we just, those pre imprecatory prayers, that God destroy them and shut them down and show that I was the right one in that decision, and they were the wrong one, and God's going to, I mean, he'll bless me so much that they're going to know I was right. Is that how it works? No, it's not how it works. You know, there, so there will come times where people have disagreements. Let them leave in peace. So, when we have those disagreements and they'll come or, you know, we've, we've, we've had them in the past, you know, you'll find very, it, it, I pray it never happens, but the flesh does take over sometimes. You'll find that I don't put out rebuttals on YouTube. I don't expose so-and-so on YouTube. You know, I'm going to settle a situation that this has been going on and, hey, no, we had a disagreement. I shook hands. They shook hands. They walked away. I walked away and I pray him Godspeed. You know, that's how it ought to be. That doesn't mean either one is out of God's will. There was a contention. It, we couldn't resolve it. Shake hands, bid them Godspeed. But when you get eaten up with bitter and hatred toward them, the Bible says you're, you think you're walking in light, but you're walking in darkness. If you hate your brother, you're in darkness, and you know it not with, at what you stumble. And the next thing you know, you're up there preaching stupid things. Because you're blind, and you're like, you know, I got a cool message. I never saw this one before until I hated my brother, and now all of a sudden I'm coming up with really cool things. Well, you're blind. That's what the problem is. 